Today's video, we're gonna be checking out the Playmates Toys Ben 10. This is Hex. Hex, a self-proclaimed master magician who desires to rule the world with his vast magic powers. So let's find out how tall Hex stands. We'll put the tape measure next to him. He's almost exactly, maybe just a little shorter than five inches in height. For his accessory, he gets himself his scepter, which has a really neat looking, almost bird-like skull on the top area here. It's got a little ringlet, a little looplet on the top there, but it doesn't actually really attach to anything. Speaking of attaching, it's almost very tricky, almost difficult, it seems, to get the scepter in his hand. It The hand is way too open cl uh, clenched for him to fit it. I thought by the way that it curved its way inward that it would line itself up perfectly with his hand, but there's simply just not enough friction in place to get it to stay in place. Uh, you could also put it in this hand here, which I suppose does a somewhat better job if you put it on the more broader end of it, but it doesn't sit on a good angle, it kind of slits slightly to the side, but it, I suppose at the very least, it sits in a place that on this hand at least, isn't gonna necessarily go anywhere. Uh, Hex comes across a little on the short side, the reasoning why I say that, if we put him down for a second and bring in some of the other villains, where you can do some comparisons to villains. He is a little bit taller than Steam Smythe, he is, uh, of course, a little bit taller right there than Dr. Animo, but just barely. And I feel like he really should have been a lot taller than that. And I guess for comparisons, we'll also bring in Ben 10, Mr. T ben Tennyson here, just so you guys can see. He is taller, but again, I feel like he could be maybe just a hair bit taller. Like I picture a more taller, lankier character than some of the others here. Let's move these all out of the way because we've already had reviews on all of those. Plug, 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 check, check, check. Watch those videos. Let's, <laughs> let's get a close-up look at Hex here. Not a bad looking figure, but I guess he, he doesn't really translate as well in figure form as say some of the others. There's cues here, there's things in place, but I don't feel like they quite jive. I guess we'll start with his face and we'll kind of work our way down. The thing about the uh, the Hex in the reboot is, again, he's very, I don't want to say snake-like, but he's very lanky, very thin, very slender. This figure really just doesn't get that point across. One of the unfortunate things about the uh, figure is his face, I think, doesn't deliver exactly what Hex should look like. Gone, for example, are the eyeballs, the pupils in the eyeballs, I should say, are completely left out. It seems like that's one, one element to a paint job that I would have included unfortunately, is get, gets completely left off here. His coloring also doesn't seem quite right. The coloring on him is a very, very pale gray. I feel like it could be slightly on more on the darker side. And the reds almost read more like oranges than they do the vibrant, almost, I suppose it is an orangey red that he has, but I don't think it's as bright of an orange as what we get here. The, uh, if you can call it tunic or the strappings here, are of a softer rubber plastic, so you can move them a little bit. If we just kind of peel them away, you can kind of see the underworkings there. These, yes, are attached to them. You can't, you can't remove it. Uh, again, like some of the details on here, the the uh, the little scepter, the little scepter, the little necklace here that he wears should also be a little higher up. I don't, I think it's a little too low on his chest. Again, this could all sound like small little nitpicks, but I'm only speaking from the standpoint that having a look at such such good representations here of some of the other villains that we got, the one villain I would really want to come deliver in a plastic form would be Hex here. And I feel like it, that, it's, not, it's not just the case though, and which is kind of sad. The bulkiness is really the big detractor I find from this particular figure. Paint is passable. Um, there's not really a, a lot that they've had to paint here. I guess the lower area of the legs 
which would be of that lighter gray, which I think is way too light in, in all honesty, doesn't at times line up with the jagged nature of his pants. You can kind of see a little bit of the overlapping of the paint, both in the black and the gray variety here. He is barefooted. And he does have the peg holes on the undersides of his feet. I don't necessarily have a problem with him standing. I would almost even trade the fact that he could stand le worse for a figure that looked a little bit more like what he should have actually looked like. The colors just don't seem right about this figure. I like the fact that he is poseable, which can be said for like all the Ben 10 figures for the most part. They are very, very poseable, but I just kind of wish that he delivered a little bit better with looking something a little bit more like he did in the actual cartoon. Posability on this guy, by the way, as I've just finished discussing it, his head rotates all the way around. You've also got not quite a, the most greatest of hinge happening up and down, but at the very least, you can rotate his head all the way around. The arms hinge outward as well as, as you can rotate them all the way around. I forgot to almost include the fact that they've actually put in the, the little markings there on his shoulders. So at the very least, they didn't skimp on that. Uh, waist swivels. Uh, we can also add to the mix that his hand rotates, but waist swivels. And then he's got the traditional hinge joint that uh, Playmates does use with their figures. So like the, the feet move forward and back this way. If you want to get the legs to move this way, though, you would have to rotate the legs and then hinge them out this way. That same thing cannot be applied the opposite way. You'd have to rotate the leg once again to bring the leg forward. Bend at the knee. You can also rotate the lower leg right around the kneecap area, and uh, he doesn't have any posability in the feet. He has all the workings of what could be Hex in figure form. Ultimately, and sadly, he just misses the mark a little bit. Yes, Hex had all the potential in the world to be a really fun figure in plastic form. Sadly, as much as he's nice to look at, he really does miss a lot of the marks that I would expect a rebooted hex to look like, especially like the, the face. I think that's the biggest crime. I could really accept all the rest of the figure from basically the neck down, but the face really disappoints. I don't feel it does look like hex at all, um, especially for the packaging, because they give such an expression on his face with the exposed yellow teeth, the very large orange eyes and the red pupils. And sadly, the figure's face sculpt doesn't have any of that. Of the villains that we've looked at, and we've looked at right a lot of Ben 10 figures on this channel, of the villains at least, I feel he's the most disappointing. For how great Steam Smythe turned out and Dr. Animo, kind of really would have hoped that Hex could have gotten the same treatment. I'm not really sure what happened here. Something sad happened this day when we didn't get ourselves a great looking Hex figure. But still, if you're interested in picking this up for yourself, along with the other Ben 10 figures, you can find them at retail stores and toys stores as well, like Toys R Us. Today we were having a look at the Playmates toys. This was the Ben 10, and this was the magician known as Hex. Slightly disappointing. He should cast a spell for a better face sculpt. Wanted to check out some more Ben 10 figure reviews? You can head over to my playlist called Ben 10. Might I also suggest as well, when you're finished with this review, head over to my main page and scroll down the section that says videos. See if there's any videos that you may have missed. Unfortunately, the way that YouTube is nowadays, a lot of the content that us creators are putting out there doesn't always get visible by the guys that, like you guys out there, that want to see these videos. So from time to time, might I encourage you to head over to my playlist and my main page video section, scroll down and see if there's anything you might have missed along the way. I was welcoming new comments on older videos. And speaking of new comments, new comments can be made and new videos are coming your way because new videos are always coming your way on this channel. So stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching as you always do, guys. I'll see you next time.